Jesus Christ, really? Don't forget to become a member of Unrelent Gaming's Patreon for exclusive manga content and early access. Isn't that right, Seth? I already joined his Patreon today. Tons of great stuff on there, actually. But did you really have to blow up the city? Mm, yes. You blew up the domino. You blew up the domino and you're laughing. Do you realize the f***ing crisis here? And you will be next. Unless you subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications right now. Or else what? You'll aggressively scream another man's name for several hours? Kakarot! Kakarot! Now this should rather be a very entertaining battle to watch unfold, especially now that Gohan has decided to step in and take over in place of both Goku and Vegeta in battling Lord Tigron. And unless Gohan is able to fully match Lord Tigron's aggression out there and falter, then I'm afraid that Lord Tigron is going to tear Gohan apart by the very end of this. As our story now continues following the initial battle involving Goku and Vegeta having to take on Universe 19's God of Destruction Tigron, as it was only with Gohan being shown having to step forward and answering Tigron's call upon having to be shown battling Goku and Vegeta was when Gohan then went on to respond, well I guess since you've already seen the baseline of what my true power consists of after briefly having to deal with Lord Primos in Universe 18, what I want to go and understand is what separates a mortal like me from a newly appointed destroyer like you that goes far beyond sheer force alone and so here is my proposal to you gohan continues since i figured you were already really strong even long before having to best both my dad and vegeta in a two-on-one handicap fight how about we go and do this instead the first one between us to falter or to show even the slightest crack under the weight of this battle loses so then that way it won't just be a contest of power here between us because if you're truly looking to test our willpower and resilience on top of seeing how reliable we are as an ally universe gohan says then i suggest that you go and agree to these terms so that way we can go and find out with tyron responding so those are your terms now are they well fine for i accept and while i can sense a great deal of fire that burns with every passing moment that your heart beats just know that i am not your ally in this contest for we will need to know for sure on if your universe can be relied on and so for your sake i hope that you you are ready, Saiyan. And while I expect a far greater challenge to come from you than I did those other two, Tigron continues, I will, however, commend your bravery to challenge me after seeing what you just saw, for it is your kind of bravery that we are hoping to find while referring to you as our allied universe mortal. But then, it was only just upon with Broly being shown having to arrive and helping assist Goku and Vegeta was when Broly went on to address Gohan by responding, Wait, before you go and choose to engage, you should consider Consider on having me fight him instead, Broly says. Not only because I think that I can go and take him, but I want to see on how far I can go and push my powers against a destroyer as powerful as this one, with Gohan responding, Although I appreciate your offer, but I'm going to have to respectfully decline, Broly. For what it was that you showcased against Lord Primos was nothing short of extraordinary, but you have already demonstrated your newly overwhelming strength to the gods against Lord Primos, and so they already know on exactly what it is that you are capable of, but this here, this battle here against Lord Tigron is mine, Gohan says. And so while I know that you have the strength to go and directly go head to head against the destroyer such as Lord Tigron, but you still seem to lack the battle experience that I think is needed to last until the very end, Gohan continues, which is why I hold a greater level of martial arts experience than you do, which is also why I think that it would be best for you to go and watch, observe, and study the way I fight in the meantime. And so because of this, 
this, I want you to go and observe on how I handle my power against the god of destruction of his stature and study my approach along with my skills so that way you can go and forge your own unique path as a fighter instead of just having to rely on sheer power alone. And so just trust me on this one Broly and while I don't expect for this to be an easy fight Gohan says, I want you to really go and study on how it is that I go about this so that way you can also go and learn a thing or two in refining your skills because for whatever reason these gods are asking for our trust Gohan says, it has to be something that is far bigger than what we realize and so I also intend on finding out as to why after I'm done with this battle. Come now and hear me God of Destruction Liger went on to then suddenly respond to Beerus by having to grab him by the shoulder for you may go and set aside any worries that you may have if you fear of Lord Tigron destroying the mortal during this contest but judging based on what we already know and what it was that we were able to see come from the Saiyans in your universe I do in fact commend you for keeping such warriors around as they all appear to be both very reliable and very loyal to what it is that they believe in Ligor continues and while I know that you are still questioning on what it is that we know worry not for I will go and fill you all in on what it is that we know after their battle down there has finally concluded with Beerus being shown pointing out by then responding well be that as it may there is something about Lord Tigron that has me quite intrigued Beerus says for I've went on to watch countless gods of destruction fight before but there's a certain refinement in his power that I haven't seen from many of our peers and so because of this I can't help but wonder now for is Lord Tigron one of the very few among us who has achieved something close to 100% mastery over his god of destruction powers because I can currently go on to sense more to his strength than what he is currently showing with Ligro responding well I'm surprised that you were able to notice but you are indeed correct god of destruction for Lord Tigron is in fact one of the very rare few among our kind who was fully able to harness and master his destroyer power but even now let's just go on and wait and see on where this mortal stands when having to go up against such a force as Lord Tigron and so now we are about to find out with Broly being shown having to turn back by responding Gohan whatever you do and whatever happens try not to go down against him with Gohan responding thanks well I'll try not to but while you're with my dad and Vegeta I want you to go and keep in mind the things that I told you and focus mainly on the techniques and the skills that I display out here so that way you may have a better understanding on what it was that I had told you while I fight him as Tigron went on to then look down by responding so now that we have agreed to the terms of how we plan on having this go I expect for you to go all out from the very beginning and give me the best possible battle that your mortal body is capable of handing out well then if your plan is to want me to go all in from the very beginning against you Gohan says then why don't you go and do yourself a favor here and stay right where you are and I'll gladly go and give you exactly what you are looking for to which Gohan went on to do exactly that because with Gohan now having to waste little time in transcending and jumping straight into his ultimate beast form was when Vegeta went on to then chime in but just look at this would you and to think that we would ever come to see the day where both you and I would fall behind both Broly and Gohan like this is both infuriating and astounding but can he actually go and do it out there is the real question as we went on to then heal both Goku and Vegeta by responding well as astonishing as it may be to see and I don't think that either one of you should go on to worry much about Gohan now that he's at the pinnacle of his true power unless of course Lord Tigron goes on to prove us wrong out there that is with Goku being shown turning around by asking wait then what do you think Whis do you really think that Gohan can go out there and pull it off against him with Whis responding well with my bias aside we'll simply have to go and wait and see but I wouldn't go and have to worry too much if I were you but at the same time it was like I had just mentioned we will have to give it time and wait and see how this will go interesting Ligor then went on to chime back in so I take it that with this one having to train directly under you I assume that the result of this massive battle power that he is currently displaying had come from your training with him is that correct because for a mortal warrior to harness this much energy to match that of a god of destruction such as Lord Tigron is both an interesting concept to witness and a very questionable one as well with Beerus responding well something like that so yes for even I was surprised upon having to first accept him as my training partner for the time being but even now while we watch him undertake this transformation before they battle I can safely say with confidence that this will not be as easy of a battle as it just was with the other two and so while we watch as they engage Beerus continues upon now having to see Ultimate Beast go 
Pokemon unleash a barrage of attacks momentarily after having to transform. Do bear in mind that as strong as both Goku and Vegeta were shown being, Beerus continues, go on there and that other Saiyan Broly are not only stronger than they are, but they are also now two of the very strongest mortals that Universe 7 has produced, and so do keep that in mind. To which it was only then within that very moment as Tigron was shown having to avoid each and every single one of Ultima Beast Gohan's blasts upon having to be shown making his way ever so closer towards Gohan was when Tigron went on to address Gohan by responding, A very valiant attempt of trying to blast me upon closing out your transformation, Saiyan. However, if you truly believe that you can go and pull a fast one on me without me having to catch on to you, then allow for me to go and give you a reminder on why your tactics aren't going to work against me. Whoa, he's a lot faster than how he was shown being before Gohan responds upon having to see Tigron lunge up in the air right after him. And so I must make sure not to go and take any chances here against him, otherwise I'll be a goner if I do and so here goes. To which it was only then within that moment with Tigron shown having to smash his way into Gohan upon Gohan being shown having to try and defend himself was when Vegeta went on to then chime back in. Sumro, I don't know if I like this, for that destroyer is extremely difficult to try and predict. And so because of this, Gohan will have to try another way of approaching him than how we did if he hopes to win. And while it is clear to us that he isn't fighting for the purpose of ending our lives, Vegeta continues, if our battle had been lifted to have such things be put into action, then I have no doubt that we would have been destroyed by the end of it. With Goku chiming in, yeah, no kidding, and look, that destroyer is using that huge frame of his to go and drive Gohan back more and more, which definitely isn't good. Oh, but I trust that Whis knows on what it is that he is talking about, because if both him and Lord Beerus are the only ones who actually know on what Gohan here is capable of, especially while wielding this newly discovered transformation in his, then we'll go and wait and see as to what he will do. Well, so far, so good, because if you go and look closely, Vegeta responds, I think not only is Gohan able to actually hurt him upon now being shown having to strike him, but if he is somehow able to overwhelm that destroyer with more and more heavy attacks without the chances of having Lord Tigron try and turn this around on him, then I really do believe that Gohan could end up pulling it off here, but it was only upon Tigron now being shown having to grab and lift Gohan in the air was when Goku went on to then chime in. Yeah, but oh man, look! He was able to grab a hold of him, and so now I'm worried that he might end up doing to Gohan on exactly on how it was that he was shown having to do to us. Oh, and so we can have this happen, and so try not to go and let him throw his weight around on you like this, Gohan! For you've got to try and muscle your way out of it! With Broly having to then chime in, his movements and fearsome approach by using his sheer size against Gohan is similar to the way Lord Primos was shown having to do, only this destroyer seems to be far more capable with using his size to his advantage, to which as Tigron was shown having to throw Gohan on his head was when Vegeta went on to then chime back in. Oh, damn it, this is not looking like it's going to end well out there against Gohan if that destroyer starts throwing him around his head like this. And so he'll need to try and think of some kind of a plan and fast, otherwise it'll be over. As Tigron went on to address Gohan by responding, Was that all? Surely I don't think that it was, and so now hurry it up and fight back or we'll just have to go and call it here within my favor, Saiyan. And so now what's it going to be? Are you going to go and fight back or are you? But then it was just within that very moment before Tigron even had the chance to finish was when Ultimate Beast Gohan had gone as far as to lunge himself on up by kicking Tigron in the face with Goku having to chime back in. Good, good. Don't give up no matter how strong this God of Destruction is, Gohan. As I couldn't be more proud of you and so keep the pressure on him no matter what. With Vegeta having to chime back in, it's almost fascinating for the difference in Gohan's power and skill is night and day when compared to where he was before, but even now I'm starting to wonder on if there are any drawbacks to this form of his because the question is for how long can he go and continue to keep this going without having to burn out in the meantime. Well for Gohan's sake I hope that there aren't any Goku responds but he sure is taking a beating out there but he also seems to be taking these hits a lot better than how we were able to handle and so because he is able to take such punishment I'm only hoping that he can outlast that destroyer by the end of it because it definitely isn't going to be an easy one that much is for sure. You know I have to say that this Gohan is quite the remarkable fighter Ligor went on to address Beerus by responding for Lord Tigron has always prided himself on being a nearly unstoppable force of power and yet Gohan here appears to be going blow for blow out there against them as though they are equals.
is. Yes, for there is an undeniable rawness to this mortal's power and the godlike aggressiveness that I haven't seen even come from Goku and Vegeta during their brief display. And so now tell me, was this a result of your doing, God of Destruction? Were you the one who was mainly responsible in having to draw this raw power and focus out while having him train alongside you, with Beerus responding, Well, I can't stand here and deny him being the one who was mainly responsible in drawing this ferocious side out of him during our training, but although I went and had my doubts when considering on how I never thought that I would ever see him reach the ranks of where Goku and Vegeta were shown having to be at the time, one thing that I will say is that he was always shown having been a bit soft, too much like his father in that regard, Beerus continues, along with being too focused on showing others mercy during combat and unwilling to fully embrace the rage that was needed to become a true warrior, but as you can clearly see, I went on to go and change all of that, but given what I know along with what I've seen and what it is that I already know when facing this mortal for myself to find out, Beerus continues, and unless something were to happen that would cause for Gohan to falter against this destroyer, then my money still goes in having my say in best Lord Tigron, but in time, we will just have to go and wait and see, now won't we? To which as Gohan was continuously shown having to blast Tigron from point blank range was when Gohan then went on to say to himself, Come on, come on! If only I can go and keep this up, then hopefully it'll create the opening that I'm looking for so that I can go and make my move here, but I gotta continue blasting him until I can find the right moment to strike. Oh, this is getting very annoying, Tigron went on to then respond upon being shown getting hit from all sides. Especially since I wasn't expecting for him to increase the amount of blasts and damage behind them this quickly. And while I can't see, what is that Saiyan plotting back there? Oh, for he's not thinking about rushing to attack me by using those blasts as cover now, is he? Wait, unless... There, Gohan shouts upon being shown placing his hands above his head. Now I got you exactly where it is that I want you, and while you may be tougher to bring down than how you were shown having to let off against me, just know that you won't be the last one shown having to stand here by the end. That much I can promise you already, Destroyer. And so now let's just see how you'll go and handle this one, God of Destruction, Masenko! To which it was only fortunately enough for Gohan, as Gohan's Masenko went on to make contact and having to blast Tigron from point blank range, was when Goku then went on to chime back in. Incredible! Good! That's the way, Gohan! For he was able to blind Lord Tigron momentarily and not just creating an opening for him to nail him with that Matsenko of his, but I also think that he may have went and actually damaged him a bit along the way as well, but it's a little hard to tell, so there's no doubt that Gohan is doing a lot better against him out there than how we were shown having to do, Goku continues. And so for everyone's sake, let's just hope that Lord Tigron had enough out there, otherwise Gohan will have to try another approach if he hopes to beat him while out there by himself. Oh, well, I don't quite know if this will be enough to actually do it, Vegeta responds, but he certainly has to be damaged by what he was just shown having to take out there, and so don't get your hopes up just yet against these gods, Kakarot. To where even then within that moment as the dust began to settle with Gohan being shown having to patiently wait and seeing what the end result was upon having to be shown blasting Tigron was when Gohan then went on to respond, There we are. And so you wasn't expecting that one, now were you, Destroyer? Because maybe now you can see exactly what it is that I meant when I said that I wasn't going to go down as easily as you thought that I would. And while I know that you aren't as damaged as you'd like for me to go and think that you are in there, Gohan continues, what I want to now know is do you give up or are you still willing to go and continue? Because if you are still ready to go, then you can cut the act and come on out and engage against me. Otherwise, you can see what it was about my power and skills to be true and just concede. And so now, what's it going to be, Destroyer? But then, it was only surprisingly enough within the smoke as Tigron was shown having to slowly emerge by also now being shown smiling was when Tigron went on to then respond, Well, now I must admit that although I knew that you were going to be a far stronger opponent to challenge me than the other two were, I wasn't expecting for you to actually be as powerful as you currently are, Saiyan, but you can go on to make no mistake that this changes nothing, because if anything, this display of power only now just 
just means that I will have to go and take you far more seriously than I anticipated, for you may have won the first round, but let me make something very clear to you, Gohan, for our fight here is far from over because I'm still standing. And because now that I can see that you won't be as easy to beat down as Goku and Vegeta were, then allow for me to go and grace you by using my full power in battle, so that way we may go and finally see on just how powerful and just how skillful you truly are, because now I'm ready to go and show you my all, saying the full force and the absolute true destructive nature of a destroyer god. To which this was exactly what Tigron had went on to do, because with Tigron now shown having to power up very viciously as Gohan went on to observe this, was when Gohan then went on to respond, what an incredible and massive storm of energy. And so he knows that he will have to go all out here if he hopes to beat me then, huh? Well, so be it then. And while I didn't think that he would actually harbor this much destructive force, if there's one thing that my training with Lord Beerus has taught me, Gohan continues, it's that no matter how fearsome and no matter how grave any situation is, I won't back down until one of us is shown having to be the last one standing by the very end. And so let's do this. As it was only right then and there now during that moment where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of the resurrected fallen gods of destruction, the legendary god saga manga chapter number three special then comes to a close. Well, actually, I'll go ahead and take it from here as I do want to go as far as to address something very important with our dear viewers at the moment. As before I go and give you the following information, if you aren't already a member of Unreal's Patreon community, then you are truly missing out on so much without you even knowing. Because not only is the next episode already on the page, but if you want to support all of the manga content that you see and gain access to tons of exclusives along the way that range from a variety of different things, then we do encourage for you all to become members of our Patreon community today, for we will link everything down within the description box below and pinned comment section as well. Now I will go as far as to say that although I am extremely proud in seeing Gohan hold his own in battle out there, especially against an opponent as vicious and as powerful as Lord Tigron, but while Lord Tigron now promises to give it his all by unleashing 100% of his full and raw destructive power onto the surface in order to take Gohan down, one has to now wonder on if Gohan is going to be strong enough to survive what's coming, because anything less than his absolute best and Gohan will not stand a chance if he hopes to win, for you do not want to miss out on what is about to happen coming up next. So we hope that you all enjoyed today's video as before you leave, do make sure to give this video a thumbs up by smashing that like button on your way out, as well as subscribing to Unreal Ent Gaming's channel in case you are new around here. We thank you all for watching and hope you all have a wonderful day everyone as we'll see you all in the next one. Hello! Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unreal Ent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi! Silent Cell, me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video.